This record by Dream Theater is the, I believe, the eighth overall studio album by them, and it's requested by Rockdo. Um, yeah, and my feelings towards this album are, um, they are pretty positive though, although I have some complaints. Um, yeah, Octavarium is uh, just a, basically a, just a progressive metal um, uh, album, of course, that you can expect from Dream Theater. But this one is a bit different, it sounds a bit different, the... Um, the atmosphere towards it sounds pretty otherworldly, uh, although I, I must say so myself. Uh, yeah, the record is 70 minutes long, but it doesn't really feel like that, so that is a good thing. Uh, a gesture between metal and uh, rock. And actually, there's a concept that everything on this record is uh, played in a different key. Uh, in F, F, G, G, A, A, B, C, C, D, D, E, and F octave. Um, yeah, I, I can't read keys, so uh, there we are. So I just looked a bit like a dumbass right there, but well, some people can say that I, I look like that all the time, but whatever. Um, yeah, the song or this song, this album has, uh, does have overall eight songs. The opening song is The Root of All Evil. I really enjoy this this opening song. It is um, eight minutes in length, I believe. Uh, eight and a half minutes, yeah. Um, yeah, the opening drums are really, really. Um, they really get you hyped up for the record. And then the main riff by John Petrucci just grabs you and just takes you everywhere where you want to go. Um, yeah, and just everything between this, the the breakdowns, the. The Soulful Singing by James Rebree is just uh, great to listen to. And I really love the piano at the ending. That that really finishes uh, finishes the song. Really one of my fa favorites of the entire record. Um, yeah, then we got some songs in the middle. Like The Answer Lies Within, These Walls, I Walk Beside You. And I just grabbed these three songs. Mainly because they, uh, they basically... Are similar. They're they're written by uh, Petrucci, and these songs, although they're good, they're a bit too poppy for me. But you can but you can argue that uh, an, a record like Images and Words is a bit too poppy in the sense of Another Day and Surrounded. But I still think those are great songs because they still have some progressive elements to them. I think that the main problem I have with these three songs that. They are a bit too poppy for me. And uh, don't get me wrong, I enjoy some pop. But the thing is that you get some really, really progressive styles by Dream Theater um, with already the opening song, The Root of All Evil. So you don't really expect this song to, uh, these songs to appear. Although they're great, they're a bit out of place, I must say. They're still great, but... Um, yeah, just a bit too poppy for me, I would say. Uh, then we get Panic Attack, and Panic Attack is a classic song. It is 8 minutes and 13 seconds uh, long. A bit shorter than uh, The Root of All Evil. Yeah, and this was for a long time my favorite song of the entire record, but we will get to that. And you probably already know it, but there we are. Uh, Panic Attack, you know, the um, the bass opening by John Mayong is just amazing to listen to. And then uh, mainly why I love the song so, uh, so much is because of uh, Mike Portnoy. He also wrote the lyrics. Uh, yeah, and just the drum attack on this, the, the bass throughout, James Lebris, uh heavy hitting vocals are just a, a recipe for just, yeah, just a great song. I really love this. I and I especially love the the ending where just everything collapses together, and my partner just slams on those drums like, uh, like like he wants to destroy Skid or something like that. Um, yeah, such a great song. Panic Attack is a really modern classic by the band. Uh, just ju just listen to it. it. It is a great song. I love it, and it is one of the best of the album. Uh, Never enough is. Uh, a bit similar to the root of all evil, I would say. It is a bit uh, more progressive in styles, but also goes the same route as the uh, three songs that I just named, a bit more popular. I still uh, enjoy the main uh, criteria here. Uh, yeah, this song, 
I believe the song starts off with a bass opening again from John Moyong and it is great by the way so I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, also written by... No. Um, oh, no, no, no. Panic Attack was written by John Petrucci. Yeah, Never Enough was written before. No, I, thought he, I thought he wrote Panic Attack, but there we are. Um, but Never Enough is still a great song. Still really enjoy this. Still... Um, yeah, just the, the symbols that Mike Porno hits on this song together with the uh, the bass by John, like I said, it is just a great co uh, combination, a recipe for um, for a great song. So I still really enjoy it, never enough. Then we get uh, Sacrifice on the seventh song, um, which is written by uh, James Labrie. So uh, this song is uh, on, on the lyric department a bit. Uh, complicated or it, it is pretty pretty intense or you, you can hear some snippets here and there from presidents talking about um, you, you know that stuff what they're, what they're always what they're always on about and yeah I'm not really sure but you can hear that at the beginning and uh, then we get some really uh, nice breakdowns we get um, in the beginning a bit a bit of a more complicated thing and then in the middle it is way more popular like uh, James Lebrie songs are most of the time and then the song gets a bit more um, a bit more technical like Panic Attack with uh, some really really instrumental parts so this is a really nice diverse song it is uh, 10 minutes long it is the only song besides this, the last song that is uh, longer than 10 minutes so uh, we will get to that and that is Octavarium. Octavarium is 24 minutes long and is the longest song of the entire record and I believe the longest song of Dream Theater's career. Uh, I must know that because I, I love me some Dream Theater, don't get me wrong, but I believe it is the longest song so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with that. Octavarium is a pretty special song by the band. Uh, the only song that I can think of that is longer is A Change of Seasons, but maybe that is a bit shorter. You can let me know in the comment section uh, down below, Rock Do or anyone else. Uh, Octavarium is a really special song. Uh, you get the keyboard opening by, um, how's the guy called again? Uh, Jordan Rudis, that's right. I didn't mention him though, sorry. Sorry jo uh, Jordan Rudis for not mentioning you. Uh, yeah, the only one that I didn't mention. Nice, nice. Um, but, but yeah, this song, it is epic. It um, y You can call it a masterpiece. Um, I think it really is. The keyboard opening just gets you. It really makes you melancholic. And then uh, the keyboards really get heavy. And you get some really nice acoustic uh, guitar. And then Jam James Lebrie singing higher in an higher octave and octave um, as the song progresses on. And then what I really love is the breakdown again and just when everything gets technical and when you hear the orchestra, th th there's so much going on in Octavarium and that is mainly why this album is so acclaimed and why it is so loved by many fans is because of this song. And don't get me wrong, I love it as well but um, yeah, it closes out the album perfectly and then you get the uh, then you get the beginning again uh, at the ending. So. Um, I can go on and on and on about this uh, song forever. It is a masterpiece. I love it. It is one of my favorite Dream Theater songs of all time. Uh, it is just so, so great. But yeah, the, um, I don't think this album is perfect, although it really comes close. Um, I just really love uh, The Root of All Evil, uh, Panic Attack, uh, Sacrifice Sons and Octavarium. I think those four songs are just great. I love them. I Walk Beside You, uh, These Walls and The Ends of Life Within are great as well and Never Enough. Um, or yeah, The Porno Written Track is probably my least favorite together with the... Uh, um, with I would say, uh, not Sacrifice Song, but... I would say these walls maybe, um, yeah, a bit too poppy for me, but still great songs. Uh, my rating for this record is a, um, what should I give it? I, I'm gonna give it a nine and a half, and that is mainly because uh, the root of all evil, panic attack, sacrifice sons, and octavarium are such great songs. If um, if never enough, 
The ants lies within these walls, I walk beside you, were a bit more similar to those other four songs than I would probably give this album a 10. And this may have been one of my favorite Dream Theater albums of all time. But because of those songs that I just mentioned, it still is one of my favorite. It's, um, it is definitely top 5, I would say, together with, uh, of course, Images, um, Metropolis 2, Awake. Um, Black Clouds and Silver Linings, I love that all. Um, Six Degrees of Inner Turbulence, um, yeah. Between those, Octavarium would probably be <laughs> number six or number five, maybe. Something like that. But yeah, I still really love this album. I think it's great. Um, let me know what you think about it. I, th I thought it was amazing. Especially the, um, the title track, man. The title track is amazing. Panic Attack. Root of all evil, check those songs out, check the entire record out, this is great. Listen to Dream Theater. They are, um, in my opinion, the best progressive metal band of all time. But hey, that is just me and a lot of other people. But uh, Let me know in the comments and enjoy Dream Theater. They are one of the best, in my opinion. <laughs>